Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. And for today's video, let's talk Call of Duty. But before we get into the Black Ops 4 gameplay today, I want to take a look at something that's been floating around on Twitter. So I don't know if you guys have seen this on Twitter. You probably have if you follow uh, Call of Duty influencers, but this is a tier maker tier list thing of all the Call of Duty games. And people rank it from their favorites to their least favorites. I decided to make my own list and this is the list that you see here. Um, I have Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 as number one because I love them to death. I love them. In the A tier, I have Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, and Black Ops 2. The Black Ops series is so solid, my gosh. In the B tier, which is kind of like middle, like, hey, this is a good game, you know, kind of tier, I guess. We have Call of Duty 4, which I would also include Modern Warfare Remastered, World War 2, and World at War. In C, which is kind of the meh tier, is Ghosts, Advanced Warfare, and Infinite Warfare. They weren't bad per se, they just weren't my cup of tea. And then there is a no tier on this list. And that's Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> and I tweeted this tier out and everybody was really upset that I put Modern Warfare 3 so low. I'm sorry, kind of. <laughs> but for today's video, I wanted to talk about the tier list and just talk about Call of Duty in general. And I also wanna hear in the comments down below y'all's favorite and least favorite Call of Duty games. Now this tier list, I want to go ahead and say right now, this is based on personal preference. I am a relatively casual player. I'm not a pro. I play Call of Duty and make videos on it. And I, this is, based on personal opinion and my enjoyment that I had with the games. This is not the end all be all list of all Call of Duty games ever. Like this is like, no, this list is right. Nobody else's is right. We all have our own opinions. Thank goodness we all think differently. But now let's play some Call of Duty. TDM, wah. Wait, what gun am I using? What should I use? I don't know. I should probably grind out headshots for something. Let's do the uh, the auger. I think that would be a great move. Also, before we get into the video, I do want to give a quick shout out to FaZe Jeff because I saw in my sub box he made a video talking about his Call of Duty tier list and I just thought, yeah, it's actually a great topic to talk about, so I want to talk about it too. So this video idea is from him. So go say hi. I'll leave his channel down below. Go say hi. I never miss a Jeff video. He's so funny. Hey, buddy. Thank you for the headshot. So let's talk about Call of Duty. So I started playing Call of Duty during Modern Warfare 2. That definitely contributes to why Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite. Do, 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 do. Hey buddy. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 were the Call of Duty games that I really played a lot religiously. Like, I spent so many hours on both of those games. Not only because I was trying to get good, but I just genuinely enjoyed them. And for whatever reason, sniping on both Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 was so satisfying. Hey, puppy no, puppy no, puppy no, puppy no. No puppy. <laughs> <laughs> hello? Hello? Are you done? Okay. No, 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 I don't want to die. Modern Warfare 2 sniping was easy. Black Ops 1 sniping was extremely difficult, but it was so much fun once you actually got used to it. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> but I just played those games religiously and it was the Call of Duties that I really grew up on. When I was, how old was I? Say freshman, eighth grade, ninth grade? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2 came out when I was in eighth grade and then Black Ops 1 was ninth grade. A very pivotal time for me as I was growing up. And not to mention with Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1, that's when I really learned about the whole YouTube game in general. So if it weren't for those games, I probably wouldn't be a YouTuber. 36 and 13, I'll take it, but why we lose? Let's open a reserve case. Why not? Show me something good. <laughs> An elephant. Okay. Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 were just such big and pivotal games for the online content creation game. I can't help it. I love them. Next on the tier list, we have Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, and Black Ops 2. Just the rest of the Black Ops series because Black Ops is so good. Like the, the whole series in general, so good. Black Ops 3 came out when I was a sophomore junior in college. And that's when I ended up getting a part-time job. I was president of a gaming club. Uh, I had YouTube and streaming and all of that, but I wasn't like, I just didn't play the game enough. And I'm so upset because Black Ops 3 is so much fun. So much content. And it was colorful and it was pretty. I love Black Ops 3. The sniping was a little bit weird in Black Ops 3, I will admit, but it was definitely the first Call of Duty that got me interested in more red gunning, like actually using assault rifles and SMGs. And every time I played Black Ops 3, I just, I don't know. I just felt good. I didn't feel like I was getting cheated out of a lot of situations. I just felt felt good. I liked the movement. I, li I liked Black Ops 3, okay? And now the big one, Black Ops 4, which a lot of people were like, why is Black Ops 4 ranked so high? It's so bad. Like, what? 
Black Ops 4 is solid, in my opinion. I think the main complaint that people are having is that there's not a lot of content available for the game. And I totally get that. I understand why people are upset, but honestly, lack of content really doesn't bother me that much. It might be because I don't play the game every day. It might be because I'm a very simplistic person and I played Modern Warfare 2 for like seven, eight years without even any DLC, okay? Maybe I'm just a really simplistic person. I don't know, but I, I like Black Ops 4. I can't help it. I like the feel of it. I love the colors in it. Like, look at this sky over here, okay? So something that I think is really important for a Call of Duty game is for it to be pretty. Like, this is nice and I like this. It makes for really pretty thumbnails. And as a YouTuber, I really like that. I like looking at high saturation games. I love color. I can't help it, I'm sorry. And next up is Black Ops 2. That came out when I was a senior in high school. I was at a point where I was like, I'm not enjoying COD right now, so I'm not gonna invest in Black Ops 2 until I hear good reviews. And everybody praised that game like there was no tomorrow. It was an amazing game. It really was. I just didn't get to play it as much as I probably should have. Black Ops 2 is great. I just didn't get the game until maybe a month after it was released. No touchy. Can you please not do this? What are you doing? Why are you running up at me? What is happening in this game today? But Black Ops 2 is great, especially for trick shotting and sniping in general. Uh, I loved watching Black Ops 2 videos. I still love Black Ops 2 videos, honestly. I have a lot of respect for Black Ops 2. Very pivotal game for the series. And also Black Ops 2 had really nice graphics for the time. Wow, I am so dead. I should not look away. Why am I looking? Why am I making eye contact? with you all when I should be playing the game. <laughs> I really don't like the streak because it's so loud. And when I'm trying to talk, I just don't like it. I'm gonna leave the game, I'm sorry. I'm trying to have a conversation with my audience here, all right? I don't need no loud ass in the video, good lord. So moving on with the mid tier, we have Call of Duty 4, and I would also include Modern Warfare Remastered, World War II, and World at War. COD 4, I didn't get to play it in its prime. I totally recognize that it is an extremely important game in like FPS games in general. Like that and Halo 3 just completely reinvented the game. Like first person shooters were forever changed after those two games. I totally understand that. I just didn't get a chance to play COD 4 in its prime. I don't know. It's cool. I like Modern Warfare Remastered a lot. It's really fun to snipe on, but like, you know, I just didn't, I don't have like a huge emotional connection to the game, you know? But I totally recognize that it is a very important game in the series. World War II. Why didn't I play World War II? I remember I just didn't play it a lot. I liked it. The graphics were pretty interesting. It was a lot brighter than I was expecting it to be. Why didn't I play World War II? I need to find out which year it came out. Hold on, hold on, this is super important. It came out 2017 during my senior year of college. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, I was busy. I just really didn't have time to play it, honestly. I mean, I thought it was good for what it was. I enjoyed it. I liked the, um, the chrome camo. I thought it was really pretty. And the feel of sniping was different but I liked it. Yeah, my senior year of college, I just didn't have any time to really like <laughs> to play a lot of video games because I was constantly on the move. I was trying to graduate and get my degree, you know? Next up we have World at War and uh, that was after my time. I didn't really get a chance to play it during its prime. I did enjoy the campaign though. The campaign was amazing. I remember with World at War in particular, I borrowed my sister's fiance's copy of the game and I beat the campaign multiple times. I think I beat it like two or three times on veteran. I don't know why. I just really loved the campaign but I never really played too much multiplayer, so I... I like watching World at War multiplayer gameplay, I just never really played it myself. And now for the meh tier, oh boy, we have Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and Infinite Warfare. I mean, I don't know what else I'm supposed to say about these games. Uh, I will say with Ghosts, when Ghosts came out, it was okay. Um, I really didn't like the graphics. Uh, graphics are really important to me. I like color. I'm sorry. I'm kind of simplistic in that sense. And the gameplay just felt weird. The sniping was like really, <laughs> I, I did not like the sniping very much at all. I tried. I mean, I made it work, but... Uh. But I will say for some reason, Ghost Competitive was really fun to watch. I think because the maps were laid out really well for competitive play. But like I said, I'm not a competitive player, so I'm not gonna, you know, weigh in on that. Next we have Advanced Warfare. I was a... Oh, I forgot to mention, when I was in college, I did not have a console for my freshman and sophomore year. So I think that's when it came out, was my freshman or sophomore. I have to look it up now. Advanced Warfare. When did you come out? 2014, oh yeah. No, I was a freshman, sophomore in college. Yeah, I didn't even have a console to play it. So I just didn't really play it. And when I did play it, it was like, okay. I mean, meh. <laughs> I thought the jetpacks were a little too zoomy for, for my liking, um, but hey, you know, it was the first Call of Duty game with jetpacks. So it was gonna be, you know, it was a work in progress. It was an experiment with the series and uh, they learned from it. But not much to say about Advanced Warfare, but Infinite Warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Infinite Warfare was okay, in my opinion. I will say the coolest thing about the game- Okay, for those who don't know, I'm really scared of space. I think space is really freaky, and if I think about it too much, I'm like, Oh god. But I will say in Infinite Warfare, there was that one map 
where if you shot people, they'd start floating up in the air because gravity. And I thought that was like super innovative and just, I thought that was really cool. I'm scared of space, but I thought that was really cool. And to be honest, that's the only thing I really remember about that game. Uh, don't remember what the sniping feels like. Don't remember, what are you doing? You just sit there and be so mad, buddy. I don't really remember a lot about Infinite Warfare. Uh, I mean, it came out when I was in college and I was really on that college grind, so I didn't really play it that much. If I was gonna play anything, I was gonna play Modern Warfare Remastered, and so I did, you know? And now for the no tier, and I know that a lot of people are usually upset by this answer, and I'm very sorry, but this is my personal preference. I do not like Modern Warfare 3 very much at all. Sorry. I made an entire video talking about Modern Warfare 3 and why I don't like it. Um, I'll leave that down in the description below if you guys want to go see it. Um, it's it's not a bad game. I want to go ahead and reiterate, Modern Warfare 3 is not a bad game. I think it was well made. It's just the timing of when it came out. I was a sophomore in high school. I was stressing out a lot about cheerleading because I was on two, three teams, three teams at the time. And I was expecting it to be a lot like Modern Warfare 2 and it wasn't. And Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. Uh, the graphics were very very dull in my opinion. Um, I couldn't look at the game for very long. I just did not like it. I did not find the game aesthetically pleasing. And also something I never mentioned in my video, I couldn't even like play Modern Warfare 3 half a time. I went through three discs of that game. Three discs, right? I don't know if it was my Xbox telling me, no, don't play this game, but every time I got a disc, it would get scratched in that one Xbox. I don't know why that Xbox never scratched any other game besides Modern Warfare 3. I don't, I don't understand. I just was not meant to play Modern Warfare 3. I really wasn't. The sniping was like decently fun, I guess, but like the game was just, I, I don't know. I just didn't like looking at the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> and also I went to the midnight release and I was supposed to get a poster, but I didn't get the poster because somebody, just just go watch my other video if you want to know that story. I'm still a little salty about it. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm 24 years old now. I'm not mad now. Not at all. Happened when I was 16, 15, 15, 16, 15. It came out nine years ago? No way. Hold on, I gotta Google this. Modern Warfare 3, when did it come out? 2011, so eight years ago. Eight years ago? Yeah, 2011, how old was I? Hold on. One by dead bad guy. Move, no, don't take my kills, no. Yeah, I would've been 16 at the time. Right at the prime of my cheerleading career that was extremely stressful at the time because I was on so many teams. Yeah, I remember that. Modern Warfare 3 just, I think it came out at the wrong time in my lifetime, essentially. <laughs> like if Modern Warfare 3 came out now and I didn't have like a pooey midnight release experience and it was prettier, then maybe I'd enjoy it a lot more. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go ahead and talk about today. My favorite Call of Duty games. I even put them in the background. Little guys in front of them, but I put them in the background for aesthetics. So I think I'm gonna regret asking this, but oh well, let's do it anyways. Let's start a fire in the comment section down below. Please be sure to comment down below and let me know what your favorite and least favorite Call of Duty games are. Please remember, we are all different. We all have different opinions and it's okay to have a different opinion from somebody else. I just really wanna see what you guys like. Let's open the floor up for discussion. That's it, that's all I got for you guys. I hope that you all have a wonderful, fantastic day today. Like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye bye Okay, friends, we're at the end of the video where I always blab a little bit extra for those who still tune in. Uh, here's a little guy check-in. He's doing great. When I say great, I mean he's looking really old. Oh, my computer just froze. No, it didn't. Oh my god. I was gonna be so mad because I just recorded the entire video and I'm just now doing the outro. Little guy is old. He's like a wizard now. We need a wizard hat for him. <sighs> little guy.